Fuck it. <laughs> I thought those dogs were stuck, that looks hilarious. Round upon but encouraged. You mean extremely encouraged? Like, holy fuck, that's the worst part of watching, uh... Like, the really, um... The really popular runners... We're sandwiched in between unpopular runs. So, like... It would be time for them to come on, and then like this whole, where are you going? This whole like, you know, parade of people just Stop. wander into the room behind them, like, and everyone sits down, and then they do their run, and everyone's you know, everyone's watching, and then like the run ends, and then the room just empties. Like that's the most depressing thing on the planet. I don't think I'm going to be doing couch commentary for anyone, like I don't have any plans. And there isn't anything else being run that I know much about. But there's a few I want to watch if possible, but we'll see. The only one that I'm definitely making sure this? I go out of my way to watch is What's Chris's Spyro run, just because I used to run Spyro. Different Spyro though. Hey Twerk, how's it going? Don't worry, for SGDQ I'll submit uh, Silent Hill Downpour surprise ending. Let's keep looking at the TV forever. What's that? Huh, radio. What's going on with that radio? Yeah, it should be good. I have a good crowd of people. Like, we'll be hanging out. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? Dude, you said it. Next weekend this is the first weekend I'm not going to be doing like anything. That should also be my first actual pay period from the new job. Well, no, the pay period's done. The first actual like paycheck. Orphine, I think the difference is that Adam AK is rich as fuck, and I don't think Inop is. I'm sure if he wanted to raise the money he could. But he goes he went to ESA. Uh I thought he went like He had a race with Goron guy at some point. That was the one where Goron guy's game crashed. That was hilarious. It was just like so typical. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with him. I haven't, like, when I first got into speedrunning, he was one of the channels I watched, but, he, it was, you know, he was, like, really small. And, and I don't know, it, it kind of blew up, and then everything changes, and it's just, like, not as fun to watch anymore.
finally gonna get the good plus ending? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Have you watched my stream, like, at all? Because I've been doing this for weeks. What I was doing before I went down, I had to take a stream down for a month, and it's what I've been doing ever since I got it back. What? What? Nah, Carcinogen's gonna be on the couch. I mean, okay, so... The couch is gonna be Carcinogen, Bonesaw, and Larathin. That's the plan. So it's like, people who are sort of qualified, not, but then again, it's as good as it's possibly gonna get, because... Like, no one speedrun Silent Hill. But they are people who are, you know, certainly knowledgeable enough about it, that I'm not really worried. Plus they do other survival horror stuff, so it's all, it's all good. There aren't any, there's no... Oh, and there's a few other people who... You know, we're gonna hang out and watch. Like, maybe not be on the couch, because it's a couch, it's not that much, it's not roomy. But, you know, a few other people who are gonna hang out. Player Sable will be there, Fierce Keo will be there. Yeah, I don't know how commentary is going to go. I'll figure something out. I'm not super worried about it. Dude, there's not that much of an alcohol ban. Like, there's an alcohol ban in, like, the, the marathon area, I guess. Like, you can't be drinking... Ob you can't be obviously drinking in a uh, in like the stream room or presumably the practice rooms and stuff like that. But you know, just put it in a different container, and I'm sure you're good. That's how it is at like all conventions and stuff. Yeah, there's a ban on, like, Scrubs who, Scrubs having their first beer. I don't think you can be too obviously wasted. Like, you don't want to be, like, stumbling drunk, probably. Not around the marathon area. I mean, if it's the hotel, like, who cares? I mean, I very much plan on drinking at this AGDQ. It's a vacation slash, you know, it's basically like a convention thing, and that means drinking. Hello, Zabiki. Drinking and other stuff. Plenty of stuff. I'm gonna be reminding Chris Engine all the time to bring Luca. Luca's super underrated for like conventions and stuff. You just tweet out about it, tell people to come hang out, and then you just hang out. People can come and drink and talk about where the fuck they want. Yeah, I have a Vortex Bowl coming in the mail because I have Steam Stones, because Steam Stones are the shit. But I don't have a bowl for them. That should be all set. Wait, 
Wait, is it Freezehorn and Twister? Hey, is it gone? I do love having Shunpuck in my life. No, it is not Wizard King. I mean, not really. Oh, dude, birthday party, nice. Uh, EGDQ is the weekend of like. It's like the 4th through the 10th or something. I think my run's on like the 7th, it's at like 3 a.m. If we had a drinking game for tonight, what would it be? I'm a big fan of King's Cup. Correct mom's basement, 16-9. What? What? Dude, that guy did a U-turn. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna have a huge, like, American audience. It's all good. But, uh, yeah, that'll be going on. They'll have, they'll have, like, uploads and all that crap. They'll save the vids. Oh, so this is punchy. It's like, f fuck the dealer, except you get punched instead of... So it's fuck the dealer except with punching, in addition to drinking. And it seems way less fair. Dude, if I'm like drowning in money by RMSC next year, we'll get like a suite or something. We'll play some Pong. See <laughs> mom's basement, it's uh, stories like yours that make this game worth playing. Alright, sweet. So we have two on board.
Uh, am I dumb? Jesus Christ. Maybe I'm tired. So I was like, staircase, cool, time to go to the basement. I'm a fucking genius. Okay, thanks, I could it, I wasn't sure. Dude, that's the problem, I'm not even drunk. That's okay. I'll work on it soon. Like, not this weekend at all, but next weekend. Maybe even before next weekend. I gotta figure out when I'm actually working next the next two weeks. Cause it's a, it's kinda stupid because Christmas and New Year's Day are days off from work, like they're work holidays, right? But they're Thursdays. Since I am I'm still new, so I'm basically shadowing other people. I just like follow other people around and help out, learn as much as I can. The person I'm normally shadowing left for a two week vacation already. The other person like might be taking time off and I need to figure out when that would be because then I need to figure out something to do. Try and not take extra time off immediately before taking five days straight off of work. Seems like a dumb idea. No, we always we always pretend marijuana exists. What wizard king? It's just an otter, don't worry about it. You're the best. Stream that speedrun if you are so great. Hi, Ruffles. What? Oh, it's a lizard. See, see how you're the wizard king? He's the lizard king. No trees. Boo. 
All right, here's my big moment. I did it. What? I did a quick turn. It was great. I didn't fuck it up. One of the cool things about AGDQ is that I have the possibility to lie to a lot of people all at once. You know, even about this game, I could tell everyone that quick turning's frame perfect. And that's totally not true. But I could say it, and then a lot of people would think it's true. Running into the gate is just RNG manipulation. It makes the game lower its difficulty, make it easier later on. Trash cans have very precise, solid boxes. Go on the couch? Yeah, I don't think anyone would. I'm sure, like, maybe it would sound wrong to them, but, like, doesn't matter. They're lower on the totem pole, as far as Silent Hill information goes. Yeah, Punchy, hopefully we'll be doing, uh... We'll be doing good plus. So I can be like, yeah, I'm the world record holder. You must have done a good plus playthrough at some point, and if you did, I guarantee it's better than mine. Do it, Punchy. It's a lot of fun. Get to go hang out with Kaufman. Well, you just moved to Washington or Colorado. Canada has no news. Due to what?
No! I almost had a tentacle adventure. If you run into those tentacles, the game actually like launches into a short little like RPG mini game where you have to fight off tentacle rape. It turns into an H game for a little bit. Game's so good. There's lots of tentacles in Silent Hill games, but this one has two sets. Cause there's that one and there's the one at the fr in like the fridge or whatever at the end in nowhere. I guess it's like a fridge or like a freezer or something. Well, with AGDQ coming up, I want to have a lot of money available for whatever I need to do, and then I don't know. It's I haven't gotten. I'm in that weird period between like starting the new job and getting first paycheck, which is always like a really weird. Like it always makes me anxious, you know. What's this? Because like you know how much on paper you're getting paid, but you haven't like seen it yet. Plus it's like a three week gap where it's like you're you're doing your job just on the faith that it's gonna work out. I don't know. I might be getting some parts within like a few weeks though. Yeah, it's every other week. And when I started was like with the company, the new company was like a brand new uh like pay period. Was I dreaming? So like, it was Monday to Friday, Monday to Friday. You know, two weeks of stuff, and then I should be getting paid on in six days. But I'm not sure they're gonna have direct deposit set up anyways. That might take even more than that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I think it's pretty standard to get paid. Like, every two weeks. Oh, fuck me. Someone brought up Galarians somewhere recently. I thought it was like the level best. Someone was going to play it or something and I was interested because I wanted to take a look. Good enough. Think of it as like Stephen Colbert's TV show where like Stephen Colbert is, you know, he's the, the person, but it's also like a character, like he plays a character on TV. Like Casey Tron is a character on TV. She plays she plays a girl on TV with giant tits, a low-cut shirt, who's awful at video games. And she uses that to bait out, like, people who, one, people who will donate small amounts to try to, like, sling insults and stuff. And those small amounts can bait out bigger amounts from people who are trying to, like, white knight her from the insulting people. Like, it's, like, a brilliant setup. Like, for all the Switch streamers, even like speedrunners and stuff, who, the ones who are like, trying to get paid, like, make a living even, off of speedrunning, streaming, whatever, whatever, whatever it is. Like, that's safe to think about. It. They're playing, it's like playing a character on TV.
jerk. Nice. No, it's a really lucrative thing to do is to do things on stream, like you need a cam and all that. You have to do something that'll like divide people really hard. Like it'll get a lot of people to hate you, but it'll get enough people to support you. Like in spite of that, that's how you make a shit ton of money. You need people to hate you for your chat to protect you from. That's fine. Yeah, when you see people, you know, screaming, overreacting, stuff like that, the video games, they're doing it because that's the character they're playing in a TV show. It's not genuine, it never, it's, it's not, that doesn't make money. Being yourself is not profitable. You gotta put on a charade. Like people streaming, uh, like Five Nights at Freddy's and stuff like that. It's like, you gotta scream and you gotta make really funny faces, and everyone's like, oh, that's, that's so epic, lol. What? Yeah, I could add, that's why. Uh,. Shit. No, Punchy, it's real, but it's also, like, very overdone sometimes. It gets a huge reaction from chat, and chat chat interactivity equals bank. Like that's the real the real criteria for Switch partnership is chat activity, because that's how they know that people are gonna watch ads and stuff like that if people are paying attention. That's how you know if people are paying attention. So that's why when you see people like Casey Tron, whose whose chat is literally just people like screaming insults. From Twitch's end, they're super happy about that. Because all of those people are gonna be watching ads. Like actively watching them.
Like, there are people who have, like, you know, upwards of five times as many followers, and will have, like, four or five times upwards as many viewers. And, like, no one, no one, like, says anything in their chat. And then they apply for partnership and get denied. Twitch knows. Twitch knows what it's doing. Heck you did. I had one when I was unemployed and worried. I was concerned about getting to EGDQ. Some some random person, like they made a semi anonymous don donation and helped out with like a lot of it. But that was back when I had to fly across the country and back, and now that I don't have to do that anymore, I'm just gonna be like you know, like I'll be covering gas for my carpool. And like I'll cover I'll probably like, you know, just buy a shit ton of pizza for people and things like that. Oh, I swear I turned. Dude, I that people can sub and then I get two fitty. It's kind of like tree fitty. Oh shit, no! Yeah, Raj, that's... I don't run advertisements here. I hate marketing and I hate salespeople, so it's just like kind of grimy. I don't think I'm obligated to run ads. I don't think I'm obligated to do anything because I haven't, and no one's contacted me yet. Actually, I'm lying. I used to I used to run ads like when I'd go offline. Hello, Filth Long. <laughs> I like your username. That'll be me after EGDQ. That a lot of people in theory will say that. But then, I don't know, if you, a lot of, you know, those are the kind of people who will still buy into, like, you know, people who are selling out hardcore on Twitch and stuff like that. And it's like, that's literally, it's a marketing thing. Like, I've dealt with salespeople, they're the scum of the earth. Like, as a career thing, and it's fucking annoying.
Shh. The entire point is like a like the college, the higher education, the career, all of that is just learning how to manipulate people into giving you money. Both in with and with without honest means, I guess. Like sometimes it's a good thing. But when it's your job to like, let's say you're doing a tech demo for equipment or something, and you you know straight up that it's over expensive, not as good, and you're about to pitch it to you know a building manager or something, and it's just like the shittiest feeling in the world. It's like you have to do it. You give them actual better advice that you know. say I had a thing twerk it come to EGDQ I will I will get you drunk Virtual beer, what does that mean? Where? Washington, D.C. <laughs> AG, AG, DG is in all of us. True words from Akita. Uh, this is supposed to be a good split, but it doesn't look like it's going to be good. Too early to tell. Oh, hey. Stupid lizard. There's a mumbler in here, I'm going to be so sad. There's sometimes one in like one of these side rooms. And it, I always shit my pants because there's no room in here to run away from them. Terrible place for him to be. That looks good. I got this one in the bag. I fucking love playing Smash drunk. I always feel like I get a lot more creative. Like I usually get frustrated because I like my tech skill goes way down. 
but I'm always like super stoked because one, because I guarantee I'm always having a good time with it, but also because I'm more, I do more like impulsively stupid shit, like goofy idea shit. Sixty shit, so maybe not worth it. I just meant if you were in the area, you know. Hitting on random girls is probably a bad idea. Especially at fucking, at a place like AGDQ, like why, yeah, what Raj is saying, why the fuck would you even want to? Yeah, the guys there are probably even worse than the girls. I don't want to. I wouldn't hit on them either. I'm not gonna hit on anyone. Raj, that's a good point. Why don't they have like supermodels at PDQs? Like. Don't even show, like, the audience or anything. Fuck. Just have, like, a, a supermodel just, like, in a bikini, in a beach ball. Just bouncing the beach ball. Winking at the camera once in a while. Dude, I, I will flirt with any Tony Hawk runner. Any and all of them at EGDQ. I don't know if any will be there. But I fucking love the Tony Hawk games. Worcester is gross, ew. Good god. Wish Eternal Enigma does Silent Hill 4. Ah! Cadets all stoked for jelly beans. I suck. I just did that last time. See, I told you, I have that stupid habit. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I 
No! My plan! There has to be a s smoother way for that stupid room. That stupid hallway. Whatever. Wish someone's gonna have to like bite the bullet and import a PAL version and figure out what the fuck is going on. Dude, have you ever had like Birdie Bots every flavor beans? They have a. Uh... I remember most of them were okay. Even though there was one that was like vomit or something, and that one wasn't bad. But the sardine flavor, those were pretty gross. Punchy, just mail your copy to Gwish, or Enigma, or someone. Not me, I won't do shit with it. Someone will. Okay, maybe Gwish won't either. It's all up to Enigma then. That lean back. God, I'm so good.
See, there's there's the 36. Easy peasy. Well, sub 36. This runs like a million billion times better than 